everyone, this is Ms. Daly, and I'm coming to you with this video to talk a little bit about the annotated bibliography. That's an assignment worth 75 points, and I want to see you get it turned in so that you do well in American Lit this marking period. So let's start with the basics. What is an annotated bibliography? It's nothing more than a glorified works cited page. All a works cited page is, is a list of sources that you would use on a research paper. So books, journals, websites, magazines, videos, DVDs, anything that you would use for researching a topic. But what we do with an annotated works cited page is we're including information and an evaluation of your website so that we can start to make good critical thinking decisions as a writer and a researcher. So an annotation has three parts to it. The first part is a summary. And if you look on the slide, you can see where I've got some prompts to help you summarize the website. And the same goes to for books, movies, whatever source you're using. But with the summary, you want to fi find out what are the main arguments, what's the point of this um, piece of research you're looking at, what topics are covered. So you're going to give um, just a brief overview of what material is in the website. And then next, you're going to assess it. Is this useful? How does it compare with other sources in your, in your research? Is it reliable? So we all know how I feel about Wikipedia. Wikipedia is not reliable because anybody can put that information onto that website. So you want to make sure it's a good, valid, non-biased, objective, informative source. So follow the prompts on the slide and that will help you write your assessment. And then finally, you need to reflect. That's the third piece of an annotation. All this means is, is was the source helpful for you? Does it help you shape your argument for your research topic? How can you use it? Did it change the way you thought about your topic? So let's look at a real annotation and you'll see that there are four points. The first part, the very top part, is the actual citation. And I'll show you a trick in just a moment and how to generate that. But then you can see that there are three paragraphs underneath the citation. The first one is the summary. The second is the evaluation or the assessment. And the third is the reflection. So this is a professional uh, annotation, so give you an idea of what it, the goal is. But this is one a classmate of yours did. Also really, really good. It has the citation, it has the summary, it has the assessment, and it has the reflection. You're going to find three sources, and you're going to do all four steps for these three sources. So take this process and repeat it so that you have three annotations total. But let's leverage technology. Go into Sound of Citation Machine, and that will spit out your MLA citation. So you don't have to worry about where do I indent, or where do I put a period, or what do I underline. Sound of Citation Machine does it for you. And that will take care of the very first part of your annotation. That's your actual citation. So let's review. Five steps total. The first is you want to get out your thesis for your topic on the Harlem Renaissance. We did that in the very beginning of the course. You want to find three sources on the internet where you can get information on your topic. If you need help, there's a video that is included in the, um, the, the help guide. Then you want to annotate your source. So that means write a reflection, an assessment, and a summary paragraph. Again, you're going to do it three times on three different sources. You're going to, fourth step is generate a works cited entry using Sun of Citation Machine. And then your step five is you're going to put it all together. I know you've got this. You can do it. Everybody take a deep breath. I know it's a lot of points, but this is a project you can work on. Come to help sessions on Wednesdays um, or also on Thursday mornings. You can check your class connect for that. Or if that doesn't work, give me a call or K-mail and we'll set up a one-on-one -on -one for you. Peace, love, and American lit. Thanks, guys.